And more and more electric cars are driving change here in the Miami Valley. And one Centerville charging station says they're helping put the city on the map. New at 6, Tara Hastings explains what's accelerating the green trend. While traffic zips by in downtown Centerville burning fuel, there's a green alternative just one turn away. Electric vehicle charging stations fell in line with our city council's um, sustainability goals, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to take advantage of an existing grant. The matching grant from Clean Fuels Ohio was for $7,000. In January of 2013, two charging stations were plugged in and ready to go. While there aren't a lot of electric vehicles in Dayton, the stations are getting put to good use. We've had almost 100 vehicles charged between the two stations. Um, I'd say once or twice a month we're getting a phone call from somebody saying, hey, I found your station in Centerville. Thank you so much. City leaders hope that by putting the charging stations in a business district, drivers will shop or grab a bite to eat while their cars are charging. Stephanie Vanberger has been driving a Prius hybrid all throughout college. It was a hand-me-down from her parents. She likes the fact she only has to fill up every two weeks. I don't have to pay. My sister has, doesn't have a hybrid and she pays a lot more for gas, so it's very, very nice not to have to pay all that. She says she will likely stick with the same model for her next car. Um, yeah, actually, because I am so lucky to not have to fill up so much, I probably would get a hybrid. And there are several websites like PlugShare.com and even an app for those with electric cars. If drivers are passing through the area and they need a quick charge, they can find Centerville's charging stations and plug-in. City officials say this is a great way to put their city on the map. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News, working for you.